in this tutorial i'm going to show you eight options uh, gear infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i've added a bigger gear in the center of the slide with the title you can replace with your own title and i've given kind of a 3d look to it and then i have added the smaller options eight options where you can just put the number and you can change the text according to your requirement and in between these i have added the arrow so that it tells you the flow of the design which is going from uh, the, in the clockwise uh, direction and uh, apart from this one i have just added few more slides with the different color options so if you can click here you can see here i have added this pink or i have added this jade or whichever color you like you can just choose it so let's start how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and go to view enable the guides and i'm going to draw a, a gear wheel for that go to insert shapes and from flowchart i'm just going to select this option which is the flowchart preparation and just draw it in the center and shape outline make it no outline then just say align center align middle and i'm going to select this object press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and hold the alt key and press one time the right arrow key so it uh, tilt towards the right side and i'm going to press ctrl d again and alt and the right arrow key so you have to continue doing the same step till we finish the full circle you can see here the circle is uh, ready now i'm just going to add one more oval shape on top of it go to shapes oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and for the time being just give some different color no outline and align center align middle so the size is very small i'm just going to increase the size again hold the shift key or you can hold the control shift key together and you can adjust how much size you need for example i will just need maybe this much size i think this is better now i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a you can see here and go to format merge shapes and just say union so you got one particular object ready now i'm going to change this color to some light color go to format shape fill maybe you can use a white and then i'm going to add some more circles here go to insert shapes add the oval shape i'm just going to draw the oval shape and then align center align middle and you can just increase the size a little bit more And then I'm going to give a different color in this one. For that, right mouse click, go to format, shape. And I'm going to give some light colors. Maybe this color. And shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline. And I'm going to give a shadow effect of a dark blue color. For that, let me just go to effects, shadow. And I'm just going to select the shadow which is inner. I'm going to select inside center and the color of the shadow i can choose some dark blue color and you can increase the blur size so you can see here i've just increased the blur size and to give a very good 3d look i'm going to add some more oval shapes for that go to shapes select the oval shape and just add one oval shape on top and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so the gradient fill i'm going to use uh, two stops 
the white I'm going to select on both the sides and the direction I'm just going to select something like this and here also I'm just going to select white and this white I'm going to increase the transparency effect and this also I'm going to increase the transparency effect but a little bit so you can see here some a 3d look has come and the same thing you can add below also either you can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and reduce the size and i'm going to just change the direction and here i'm going to use the white i'm just going to use the same color of the light turquoise which is the background and i'm going to make it more bright color something like this you can see here and this one i'm going to say the same color and increase the transparency level and here you can just make it more transparent or you can just increase this also and i'm just going to soft adjust and increase the soft adjust here so you can see here i've just added one more shadow at the down and then you can add some text to it let me just increase the size of this uh, oval shape a little bigger all right and then i'm just going to select this all press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and hold the shift key and reduce the size maybe this much size and just put it eight different places this is one this is two three and four and i'm going to add four more here one will go here the other will go here you have to just spend some time to do the alignment and one more will go here so you can see here i have just added eight more smaller circles or the the duplicates of the bigger one and if you want you can just give some shadow effect to this i'll just select this white only and you can give some shadow effect which is a down shadow effect so it gives you a a kind of a 3d look and for the others also the smaller also you can just give the shadow effect okay and then i'm just going to add some more oval shape here go to insert shapes select an oval shape hold the shift key make a smaller one give the same color maybe light color i'm going to use light gray and shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this particular arrow and draw a small arrow let me just zoom in you can see here and i'm just going to put it here in the middle shape outline make it no outline and you can give the shape the color the same color blue and go to shadow and you can use uh, this particular shadow which is inner top left you can see here and you can give a shadow effect for this also and select this Control G to group it and I'm just going to add here and reduce the size a little bit hold the shift key and then press Control D to duplicate it and again I'm just going to use the alt and the right arrow key to rotate it you can see here it's a bit 
time consuming process but once it's done it looks very beautiful so this will be my this will come here control d again alt and the right arrow key and this will be towards the left so you can see here it's very easy actually but time consuming though and this will be top side and then this will be right so you can see here our uh, basic design is ready and then you can just put the numbers on this so let me just add the numbers go to insert text box and i'll just say zero one center align use some nice font i'm just going to use the century gothic make it bold give the same blue color and just put it here at the center of each small options or if you want you can give the white font also so just repeat this exercise uh, till you finish all the eight options and i'm just going to add a detailed text here go to insert text box and I'm just saying your detailed text goes here, reduce the size and I'm going to use the same font. Control D. So you need to just finish the whole options. So as you can see here, I've just changed the numbers, put the numbers and add the detailed text and then in the center i'm just going to add one more text here i will just say headline or title or whatever you call it and i'm going to use a century gothic for this put in the center so you can see here our beautiful design is ready and if you want you can give some uh, little animation to it so that one option will appear at a time so that's it from me that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.